I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm showing you five sharp, casual summer outfit ideas. This video is sponsored by Stitch Fix. You're probably familiar with Stitch Fix already, but if not, Stitch Fix is a personalized styling service where you go to their website, sign up, and go through a ton of style-related questions in order for your stylist to get the most complete picture of what your preferences are, what you like, what you don't like, and also how open you are to kind of stepping outside your comfort zone. When I signed up, I have to say I was incredibly impressed with the thoroughness of all the questions. It does take a little while to go through this process. Basic things like height, weight, fit preferences, style preferences, colors you like and don't like, same thing with patterns. And then, like I said, one of the most important things, are you willing to give something outside your comfort zone a try? Now, once you go through all of that, your stylist picks five items and they are sent to you. My first fix came with these Tom sneakers a pair of lightweight twill pants in olive from DL1961, a white short sleeve slub polo by Theory, also by Theory, a long sleeve navy blue linen shirt, and then this kind of interesting twill button up by Descendant of Thieves. The cost is $20 to have your fix, as they call it, curated by a personal stylist, and that money will apply towards anything that you decide to keep. If you want to keep everything, you get a 25% discount. Returns are easy and always free. No subscription required, so you're not locked into anything. You can choose when, how often, or how infrequently you'd like to receive your fix. Special offer for He Spoke Style viewers. Click the link right there down below in the description to have your first styling fee waived. So some cool items, great brands. Now let's put some outfits together. So gotta say, first outfit video in a while feels pretty good, and I really hope you guys enjoy the return to this type of content. Our first look here is very much inspired by nautical and Riviera type vibes where combining style and comfort is really, really important. I say this all the time, but the absolute best way to do this is to wear fabrics that are appropriate for the season. For summer, and this looks specifically, we're talking about linen and cotton. My jacket here, one of my favorite summer jackets, it's by Suit Supply. Fabric is a silk linen by E. Thomas with just an absolutely amazing texture. Underneath, we've got the Theory linen shirt. A linen shirt should fit a little loosely. It shouldn't be baggy, but you don't want it to be form-fitting. I think not only does it feel good, but it also helps project that more casual and easygoing vibe. For a Riviera-inspired look like this, you've got to have a pair of white pants. Mine are from our upcoming collection with Michael Andrews. You may notice that I've done belt loops here instead of my usual side tabs. With more casual trousers like this, I do prefer belt loops. Speaking of the belt, also from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Other accessories, sunglasses are the Oliver Peoples Banks. Pocket Square by Drake's. Watch is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel and finished off with the Allen Edmonds Grand Cayman loafers. Here's a look that I would put in not only the sharp casual category, but what I like to call the grown-up casual category. There's absolutely nothing wrong with casual staples like jeans, t-shirts, polos, sweaters, sweatshirts, and sneakers. They all have their place. But if you're looking to elevate that type of outfit a little bit, that's when you've got to start thinking a little bit differently in terms of fabrics and styling. Let's start off with what I would call the hero piece of this outfit, and that is this zip-up sweater. It's from our collection with Michael Andrews, and it's made from a very soft Pima cotton. It gives it that casual feel, literally and figuratively, and a level of sophistication that you wouldn't find with a thicker fabric. Underneath, we've got the Theory Polo, also in cotton. Really love the little bit of horizontal texture that it has. Trousers are HSS Michael Andrews in a cream, kind of stone-colored cotton. I did a two inch cuff here because of the crease. Again, sort of an element that elevates it as a more casual piece. Watch is the IWC Ingenieur, and then anchored by the Tom's sneakers. Another kind of super classic combo here, once again, working exclusively with seasonal fabrics. My jacket, you guessed it, HSS Michael Andrews is in a beautiful Holland and Sherry fresco fabric. I put it in the same category as linen in terms of breathability, and the jacket is unlined to maximize that breeziness even more. 
Underneath, again, I've got the Theory Polo Shirt. Now, a polo shirt under a blazer is a very casual move, and I like the overall more relaxed and kind of laid back feel. One of the reasons for that is that the collar doesn't have a ton of structure, and as a result, you kind of need to be a little mindful of keeping the collar looking neat. Navy cotton pants are HSS Michael Andrews, as is the belt. Now, I love completing some of my summer looks with a Panama hat. The one I'm wearing is by Homero Ortega. On my wrist, I have the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. Shoes are my brown suede Belgian shoes, Mr. Casuals. Next up is kind of an interesting take on summer monochromatic. I mean, it's not that interesting, but it kind of is to me because typically when I do monochromatic in the summer, I lean more towards browns and especially lighter browns. I kind of dig the navy though, and for me, it seems slightly unexpected for the summer. Reminder that monochromatic looks are a simple way to make a big statement. Pieces here you've mostly seen already, got the Theory linen shirt, which I did roll up the sleeve slightly. HSS Michael Andrews navy cotton pants paired with a braided leather belt by J. Crew. Got the Homero Ortega Panama hat up top again. A couple of accessories to really kind of turn up the badass screw with this outfit. Vintage USS frames with blue lenses, kind of got that Hollywood vibe to them. Then on my wrist, the Datagraph. Braided leather tassel loafers, one of my favorite pairs for the summer, are by Alan Edmonds, the Palm Beach. Last look here is definitely more on the casual side of things and also not for every summer night, but for a chilly summer night. It does get chilly sometimes in the summer. So let's break this outfit down, starting with the jacket. It's by Valstar. It's a very supple and lightweight leather, so it works perfectly in the kind of scenario I'm imagining this outfit in. I'm continually impressed by this brand and the way they've been able to take such a simple jacket design and completely transform it over and over again just by using different materials. Every jacket really does have its own unique character. Underneath, just my classic Heather Gray Levi's athletic sweatshirt. The pants are by DL1961. They were part of my fix from Stitch Fix. They're in an olive twill. Color is different than I would normally wear, but I did let my stylist know that I was willing to step just a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I wear olive up top, like I have a couple jackets this color, but pants aren't anything I'd considered personally. I actually like it, something a little different for me, still classic, and I think it matches really well with the brown of the jacket and the gray of the sweatshirt. I know I said this was a casual evening look, so you're probably wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, my John Varvatos, by the way. All I can say is that when you're cool, the sun shines on you 24 hours a day. Here's where you laugh. Watch is my Omega Seamaster, and then finished off with my white Common Projects original Achilles sneakers. So you might have noticed that I did not style the Descendant of Thieves shirt. So I did leave myself open to things that were maybe a little outside of my comfort zone, but that particular piece just didn't feel right to me, so that's why you didn't see it. With Stitch Fix, however, when you have a situation like that, you just let your stylist know and they update your profile to really dial in your preferences even more. Thanks once again to Stitch Fix for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in trying Stitch Fix, reminder that with a link down below, they will waive the fee for your first fix. Leave a comment and let me know which outfit you like best. Thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.